Way number 53 on how to pass the chemistry regions. Intermolecular forces, also known as IMFs, is the force between molecules. If we take a look at the August 2015 region, we can see it asks us which substance in the table below has the strongest intermolecular forces. We know that high boiling point can lead to strong intermolecular forces. So, if we look at the boiling point of these elements, we see that the highest boiling point is 293, which is HF, making the answer choice 1. Now, let's take a look at the January 2016 region, which asks, explain in terms of intermolecular forces why the boiling point of hydrazine at standard pressure is higher than the boiling point of water at standard pressure. This goes back to our point that a high boiling point leads to strong intermolecular forces. This can allow us to conclude that the intermolecular forces in hydrazine must be greater than the intermolecular forces in water. Now let's take a look at the January 2017 region, which asks us which term represents an intermolecular force in a sample of water. Water, also known as H2O, contains the elements hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen likes to bond with the element F, fluorine, O, oxygen, and N, nitrogen, which is happening here. This is also known as hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bonding can have high boiling points, which brings us back to the point that high boiling points can lead to strong intermolecular forces making the answer choice one. Now it's your turn to try. Here in the August 2016 region, it asks us, at STP, graphite and diamond are two solid forms of carbon. Which statement explains why these two forms of carbon differ in hardness? Now answer the question. If you got choice two, you'd be correct. If you want to see more ways to pass the chemistry regions, head on to chemvideotutor.com.